Can I talk on one more law before we pray? The second law is called the law of the mind. The law of the mind. The law of the mind. The second spiritual law that is responsible for manifesting spiritual realities to find expression. Please listen. Please listen, brothers and sisters. We have been taught by even well-meaning people that all that is responsible for manifesting spiritual realities is your spirit. It's not true. It's not true, sir. The entire tripartite being of a man must be involved in the manifestation of every spiritual reality. Your spirit, your mind, and even your body. If you leave one of them out, it will never arrive. Are we together now? Yes. The law of the mind. Genesis chapter 11. We'll read from verse 5 and 6 just to find somewhere. I have to rush because we're trying to see how we can close on time. The Bible talks about Nimrod Kush, this very strange man who mobilized the people on a project to build a city. Look how ambitious that is. Now, theologians argue whether it's a physical building or it's a spiritual building. Whether it's physical or, or spiritual is still a wonder. That's the point I'm trying to communicate. That a man can be ambitious enough to build a structure whose top will reach the heavens. You know how far that is? The Bible says they, he started proposing to the people. I'm coming to verse 5 now. But he started proposing, go to come. Let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves. What was he doing? He was indoctrinating them with an idea. Listen very carefully. Are we together now? I hope you know that these people are not born again. So the spirit of God is not involved here. Are we together now? The spirit of God is not part of this process. Amazing. And then the Bible says they agreed that they would make brick for mortar and all of that and start building. It was still at the realm of the mind. But see what happens from God's standpoint. Read with me verse 5 if you are born again. One to read. And the Lord came down to see the tower which the children of men which the children of men did what? Not a building. God came down to see the building that has been finished. For as long as they agreed, that's it. And in case you are not sure, read verse 6. One, two, read. Verse 6, please. Uh-huh. And this, uh-huh. And this they begin to do. Hold on. This they begin. Remember verse 5. He said they have finished it. This they begin to do. And now nothing. God is speaking. The creator knows how creation happens. And the creator is attesting that they got this law. They got it. God is marking a script here. And is giving people A. He said this they begin to do. And nothing. Remember if God says nothing he means it. There are a few times he said nothing in the Bible. Nothing is impossible. Is there anything too hard? Now he's using that expression. That nothing will be restrained from them. Which? Nothing will be restrained from them. Which they have imagined. Image. Nothing will be restrained from them. Which they have imagined. Far above all that we ask or imagine. Nothing will be restrained from them which they imagine. That building cannot be restrained because it has been imagined. That greatness cannot be restrained because it has been imagined. The law of the mind is very few believers understand this. I want you to be successful, not just spiritual. And many times we are not taught enough to understand the dynamics this is not some mind science Scientology this is this is how the system of the kingdom works that every reality that is not captured in this realm will never manifest it's true this they begin to do but he came to see that means your imagination are realities in the spirit that's the reason why you can imagine something and start crying with physical tears 
you are sitting down and imagining something what if my father dies now and your tears don't know the difference between reality and imagination it starts coming physically you are imagining so if if i die now this is how this my innocent children will just go and you are crying and they're asking what is making you cry the tears are real and the imagination too is real listen when terrorists now most of this there's, there's not much of that that happens here but back then in the north before and it was a strategy that was used by adolf hitler and and they use it to terrorists before they come into a land to invade them they keep sending threats we are coming and when we come we are going to bomb the church or bomb this we are going to tear women open they make it as graphic as possible you know what they are doing they want you to help them win you and you would think it's a lie hi a pregnant woman just reads that they are going to tear you and the woman is saying so this is how i'm going to die and truly it will happen adolf hitler won his battles before he started he made sure that he he put fear and terror because you see your imaginations are real and i've taught you that repetition attracts the spirit component of whatever it is repetition of anything including your imagination that you continue to think over an idea there is a spirit component or a spirit dimension allocated to give life to everything to manifest it it's true that which i have feared most has come upon me that was job's testimony that means at a point in his life he sat down and was thinking my god so this is how i will lose everything now and the spirit kept saying who is drawing me who is drawing me so the bible says i beseech thee therefore brethren by the mercies of god chapter 12 and verse 1 romans that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God and he calls it your reasonable act of worship verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world is the Greek word aeon the systems the mindset the thought pattern that comes with this system it says but be ye transformed are we together now is the word metamorpho where you get the word metamorphosis egg lava pupa adult be ye transformed how by the renewal of your mind it says by that renewal you can now prove what is that good and perfect you know good acceptable and perfect will of god the bible even says that you receive the end of your faith through the salvation of your soul that a reality that has happened in your spirit can also happen in your mind please i want you to understand what i'm saying you are truly defeated when your mind does not capture victory look at this your life is a reflection of not just your thought patterns but the ideas you have captured and when your ideas are captured for a long time the spirit component behind those ideas will come to partner with those ideas and it must manifest it's a law are we together now it's true have you you've heard me give this example you've seen all these children that run around maybe just help i don't mean to demean them but all these children disoriented come from dysfunctional families is just running around looking for small jobs to do carry your clean shirt that you have used for two years you've used that shirt for two years and it looks like it's new because the shirt is a reflection of the quality of your thinking now give that same shirt to that boy after two weeks you see the shirt and you're even angry what happened when did this shirt start tearing like this the shirt reflects his mind are we together yes that they can pay someone who is sitting in an office with ac a million naira per month and the hard-working man now not to demean that that's not i'm just comparing someone who is at the gate opening and closing the gate and may be receiving ten thousand naira and you see that one is doing more physical work and then the man at the gate is angry and say this wicked director he doesn't do anything just comes and collects a million my advice is switch them switch them for one month take the man at the gate to the office and take the man at the office to the gate the first thing that will happen is nobody will come to that office again 
the quality and the superior thinking of that man will make all the clients to stop at the gate. They will not need to go to the office again. Number two, the man in the office will steal because he knows for sure he won't be there for long. That, that environment, his mind would treat it as a disease. In other words, you are in the wrong place. You are not supposed to be there. And the mind will alter his behavior to act in a way and manner that must turn that office into what befits his thinking. So the office will be dirty. He will steal. He will eat everything there. The warfare's both for visitors and for him. He will eat everything. He will steal. He will look for how to steal the printer. If I can steal the printer and remove this AC, uh, what do I need to do? I can remove this, this, I mean, this CCTV is, is CCTVs are expensive. I can remove. And that's how he's thinking. And eventually he will steal and run away and not come. So the environment became a reflection of his thinking. This is Africa's biggest problem. It is not, it is not just now. I'm, I know that we must take responsibility as leaders, but I'm telling you, it's not just a leadership problem. The people themselves are depraved of understanding. It's an uncomfortable truth we must admit. Let a poor man come and meet a rich man. The first thing is not, sir, how are you able to do it? No, sir, give me 200,000. And after one year, he will now send you a text two weeks to the expiry of the rent. He says, just glory be to God, dear pastor. He will try to use, um, in the name of Jesus, Calvary greetings. And then he will now say, I'm, I'm here again. No, don't be tired of me. Of course I should be tired of you. What do you mean don't be tired of you? The Bible says, don't be going to your friend's house every day like that. You will be tired. You are not providing any value. Sorry, I hope I'm not disturbing you. You send a text again. Ten minutes later, I hope I'm not disturbing. You are disturbing. The message is clear. Listen, you need a miracle on your mind that God can do something that in that one room right now with one rechargeable, are we together now? And not having anything, you can sit down and know that in the name of Jesus, I will go anywhere you. You see, your imagination is so powerful. It can go where your body cannot go. It is, oh, your body only moves at the invitation of your imagination. Your imagination must invite your body to join it. If your imagination has not gone there, there is no invitation. Have you, your, your destiny is a royal place. Your body will only go at the invitation of your imagination. I have gone there and I've seen that that land is truly with milk and honey. Come and join me. And you smash every barrier that stands. I don't see impossibilities in my life. Truly speaking, I don't. It's not just some confession. No, 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 no. It's a settled reality. I'm only limited by the voice of God and the law of time and seasons. No, I don't see all this. No, 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 no. If God says to do a project and it's one billion and it's five billion, it will be done. Because I know spiritual blessings. Are you getting the technology now? That realm of abundance is infinite in Christ and then I have faith to believe and I have a mind that can allow these realities to be crystallized do you believe what I just shared now you can go back home with confidence stop changing your physical environment that's not where the miracle is the miracle starts from here you can buy a suit of 200,000 and wear it on a mind of 10,000. That mind will force that suit to return back to 10,000. Notice, financially speaking, we're rounding up, that many of us, certain amounts recycle in our lives. If you ever cross it, it will return back. 10,000, 15,000. And once in a while, 200,000 comes. In two weeks, your account has reduced back because it's a reflection of your understanding. Are we together now? If someone gives you one million, you are surprised. All of the discomfort around your behavior will cause you to reduce that money back to the range that is fitting for your mind. It's true. So as a pastor, you are trusting God for 10,000 members, but your mindset has captured only 200 members. You will never cross that occasionally you will cross the boundary and then your mind will interpret every breakthrough as an error and its assignment is to return you back to that 
that mental buffer, it must return you back to that state. It's true. That's why good things never stick with certain people. Listen, demons walk on this law. They know that this law is real. So when the devil comes, he checks your mind and your imagination. What is there for me? Jesus says, Satan cometh to me and did not find. That means Satan scanned through. Ah, no fear. We can't come through fear. Know this. Ah, he has already in his mind from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. That's why Jesus had to resurrect. It had been a reality established. Are you seeing the reason why things must be prophesied first before they happen? Because prophecy is a system of establishing it in the realm of the spirit and nothing will stop it. The law of the mind. Business people, listen to me. You know, many people again keep saying that men of God don't know anything about business because they think we're just holding Bibles. No, no. You sit down and all you are looking at is your small shop. All you are looking at is your small hair, hair outfit or whatever it is, you will never rise. The moment your mind grows beyond that level, let me tell you what begins to happen. The spirit of God will partner with your thinking and your understanding to produce a reality that reflects it. The same way demons partner with your fears and everything. Have you ever sat down to think about someone and he called you? What made him call you? You think he just called you. No, sir. Spirits don't just work with nothing. Your imaginations are also substance. So they work with it. When God comes to you, he finds out what in your mind is consistent with the word of God. That's why it's important to meditate upon the word of God. You are giving the Holy Spirit the tools with which he will use to birth creation in your life. So he comes and finds out, my God, I am like a well-watered garden. I am Beulah and Hephzibah and says that's a raw material for breakthrough. He will use it and create that in your life. When he comes and finds your house clean, but empty there is nothing that can happen demon spirits don't just come and operate on people anyhow they take advantage that's why the when demon spirits find a wrong mindset that is a doorway they not only use it they send other spirits to create fortification around it that's what is called a stronghold a sustained thinking pattern that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits it is that state that can make the word of god of non-effect so that when the word of god is coming you are interpreting it from the lens of a depraved mind you can't receive it when people receive that seed Satan comes immediately and carries it out because if it's implanted in your mind, it will grow. And if it grows, it must manifest. For someone here, Satan has lost it. It's too late. The reality has been captured. That's why God gives us dreams. That's why God gives us visions. It's not just so that we are aware. It's a reality that he wants us to capture. Joseph, while he was in the pit, he kept seeing the sun, the moon, 11 stars. That vision brought him out of the pit. A woman lied that he raped her. Rape or no rape, the vision took him even in prison. Finally, he got there. He said, that an expectation shall not be cut short. That imagination. For someone here, you're coming from a family where you don't have much. And you are already ashamed of it. And you have gathered in your house old pictures and pictures that don't say anything. You have regret books. Where you have written everybody who lied to you, who did this. And you open it and meditate upon it. And keep recycling woes to your life. But the Lord is speaking to you right now. You cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. You have to take away that old wine skin. And say in the name of Jesus I believe. I may be weak right now, but in the name of Jesus, I know that one day I will feed nations. I may need somebody to support me today, but in the name of Jesus, I will be the one to override the check that House of David will use for their permanent site. I will do it single-handedly to the glory of God. I made up my mind when I had nothing that one day I will get to a point where I will put my parents on salary forever, where I will be able to take care of my siblings. Are we together? I made up my mind. I said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
as a man of God, I will never go around manipulating people just because I'm looking for tea and bread. I may not have come from a background that gave me all the advantage that I wanted, but this is the victory. When the Lord came down to see Joshua Selman, he saw that the destiny had been built. And he said, son, let's go. Ah. And step by step, you lead me and I will follow you all of my days. For step by step, you lead me Before I come for a meeting, I sit down and sometimes God shows me visions of the meeting. But whether or not I see the visions, I see it in the spirit. It's done. I've seen people getting blessed here this morning already. It's true. I've seen the anointing changing lives already. I'm, I'm just here to establish it. This is why God blesses us with results. It's not the results that prove the thing. No. That reality has been captured. I've walked with the Holy Ghost already. Your pastor has walked with the Holy Ghost already. We are going to pray. In this morning service, I don't want you to just go back the same way. I know that our time is gone, but I want you to just spare me a few minutes. Because these few minutes we are stepping into will be destiny-altering moments. I want you to discern it. Are we together? Please rise up on your feet. When you hold my hand everything becomes possible when you hold my hand everything everything becomes possible when you hold when you hold my hand everything becomes possible when you hold my hand times when you hold everything becomes possible when you hold my hand everything becomes possible in one minute I'd like you to use your mouth this morning as a weapon of creation Open your mouth and begin to create realities about your life. Don't, don't mind what the devil brings to you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I may have been born poor, but in the name of Jesus, I am rising to a level of kingdom wealth, a level of blessings, a level of grace. I decree and declare as a man of God that I cannot be ignored. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The grace of God is at work in my life. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I decree and declare that I have a goodly heritage. Gentiles come to my light and they are kings to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I receive double. Lift up your voice and pray. Declare Shalakato Saria. Lagos yields his increase for me. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is at work in me. I'm a possessor of true riches, spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. No more fear. No more fear. No more fear. My background notwithstanding. No more fear. My current limitations notwithstanding. No more fear. My path is as a shining light that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the anointed of the Lord say so. I am Beulah. I am Hepzibah. A well-watered garden. The planting of the Lord. The oak of righteousness. That he is glorified in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next prayer point. I'd like you to pray with all your heart. Listen. Listen. You are going to decree and declare. That every spiritual blessing. You see they are in dimensions. Are we together now? Just wait. We have a teaching series that will come up.
true riches and when when is that please try to look for it download it and listen to it or when your pastor does any teaching that relates to this listen to it with all your heart listen we're going to pray true riches is not just generic it can manifest on earth as different things true riches can come as wisdom it's true riches it can come as favor it can come as the anointing there are seven of them in all that the bible calls together spiritual blessings are we together now mm. worthy is the lamb that was slain he says to receive and he begins to mention all of these things you are going to pray the dimension of grace that must come on your life and cause your physical environment to change lift your voice and provoke it lord i am in christ i am in christ something needs to happen to my finances i'm a tither i'm a giver i'm productive but i need that manifestation of the spiritual blessings pray You are a pastor, pray. Lord, I need the anointing, fresh anointing upon my life for signs and wonders, for miracles. The anointing that births breakthroughs in the lives of people. standing in this crowd now and God is saying son I brought you here because thou anointest my head with oil but it's my cup that proves it he doesn't anoint your cup he anoints your head and your cup proves you are anointed thou anointest my ministry you anoint my head my church overflows you anoint my head my business overflows you anoint my head my family overflows you anoint my head my academics overflow you anoint my head my destiny overflows he doesn't anoint the destiny he anoints the head it is the cup that overflows hallelujah hallelujah i have two minutes for this and please i want you to listen there are people here who are saying man of god i'm not even in christ quite honestly i love jesus but for some reason i've never been interested in this some of you are scattered outside and there are people who may be saying apostle i love the lord but things have gone haywire in my life i don't want anything that will interrupt me these blessings are in christ and this morning you are standing and saying in this service apostle i want to hand my life genuinely and truthfully not just as an emotional activity if you are in the overflow all of you outside i will just want you to walk if there can be some ushers there to just direct them so that you walk to the front of your projector screen or somewhere just find somewhere to walk them there we can't have them in here but there are people in here who are saying apostle i'm coming genuinely i mean it from the depth of my heart wherever you are inside here i want you to walk right i know that the space is limited but just come stand here i will pray with you and you will go back those outside come there and those inside someone has to come quickly quickly please our time is gone if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat but you mean it with jesus make your way come and stand in front here whatever you ask of me i surrender come to jesus 
what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul my surrender apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not if you are not sure join them join them don't be embarrassed ye must be born again not ye might not ye should whatever you ask of me whatever you ask of me i surrender, I surrender. for the last time now whatever you ask of me You can stand. You can stand. Hallelujah. Now, there are people watching this a live TV. Those watching online, you want to hand your life to Jesus genuinely. You can follow in this prayer. And those in front here and those outside, I want you to lift your right hand. Say this passionately and truthfully you are not reciting a poem jesus is in this place let it be from the depth of your heart say after me lord jesus say it again lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you love me i believe that you gave your life for my redemption for my salvation this morning I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life I receive your life I receive the forgiveness of sins I am justified by faith and from today I declare that I'm a child of God I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for. And I decree and I declare that the grace that keep men in this kingdom, may that grace be supplied unto these people. I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the power of the flesh, the power of sin and the power of Satan are all broken over your life in Jesus name. I decree and I declare that you begin a journey right now that will lead you to the place of destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray.